FNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Uh, welcome to the uh, 11 o'clock update. I'm your uh, I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes. Right now, you got uh, all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. You've got the Dow up 440 points. The S&P's up 61. NASDAQ 209. Russell 30. Semis 31. Tranny's 195. Percentage-wise... One and seven tenths percent is the biggest percentage. That's coming from the Russell. Just behind that is the Nasdaq hundred, about one point six percent. You got Apple moving higher with volume. Uh, we're in only an hour and a half of trading. Fifty-two million shares already. Yesterday it did eighty million shares. So it's a big move inside of Apple. You've got gold down about thirty-eight bucks. Silver's off seventy-seven cents. Lights we crude up nearly three dollars. Natural gas up four pennies. Thirty-year Treasury trading out at one thirty twenty-nine. That's off one point and seven ticks. You got the U.S. dollar index trading up about a nickel right now at 101.24. Let's take a look at that nine panel market update chart. We begin in the upper left hand corner with the ES Mini. The ES Mini is trading in a consolidation pattern, as simple as that. We got consolidations all over the board. In these consolidating markets, they can be frustrating to both the bulls and the bears. So the bottom's in on that consolidation. Inside the ES Mini, you're back inside its profile. If it can close a day above 41.18, well, then we might be looking at 40.61 and then 41.88. Spot volatility is well below its 50-day exponential movement average. In fact, right now, it is a one-day rate of change below minus 10%. Those signals are usually an initiation to higher price. So if we get that, a one-day rate of change below minus 10%, you're going to get the ES Mini to close about 41.18. That suggests at least another day of rally. That would be on Monday. The NQ, having a great day, but it's just been trading in a sideways consolidation as well. Resistance up at about the 13,781 level. U.S. dollar index also in a consolidation pattern. Really between the bottom that it did when it created that buy the D point at 100.42 up to the 102.13 level. And Goldilocks and Silverlocks, well, really high ho silver, both of them also in a consolidation pattern. Yeah, we got those frustrating markets there, and no idea when this will end, but we can take a look at the 30-year Treasury just down below, also in a consolidation. Now, natural gas yesterday negated its Rosemont indicator bottom. It needs a bullish reversal candle today to initiate that. We had a nice little rally inside of uh, Lights We Crude after rejecting a prior swing point for back in March. It does have a new profile, so the resistance out here is about 77 and 68 followed by 79.36. And if you close above that, 81.87 would be in the cards. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. If you're off to start your Friday, please have a fantastic one. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.